I'm in the sacristy at uh, Southwark Cathedral. This is a place that you probably haven't really seen. This is the working area for the vergers and for the clergy where we, we get ready for services and everything. The reason that I, I wanted to bring you here was because we've got some very good news today. Um, you remember that uh, a few months ago, Dawkins, our cathedral cat, sadly passed away. And uh, many of you will have seen the service of Thanksgiving that we had for Dawkins, uh, recognising all that she had brought to the cathedral and the affection with which she has been held by many people. One of the strange things was that we had been talking to Cat Cuddle Sanctuary here in South London about the possibility of getting another cat because we missed having a cat around the place and uh, so we decided that it was about the right time uh, now Dawkins was retired to think about um, who could come in in her place and the arrangement was that they'd found a particular cat and that they were going to bring that cat to us on this day and that turned out to be the very day that Dawkins passed away um, it was absolutely incredible very moving for all of us so I'm here to introduce you to our new cat who's called Hodge now if you think that's a strange name this is not the first Hodge to be around so before I introduce you to the new Hodge I just want to take you on a bit of a journey and the first place we're going to go to is Gough Square just off Fleet Street I'm here in Gough Square which is just off Fleet Street where Dr Johnson's house is and where there is a statue of his cat Hodge the most famous Hodge until you've met Southwark Cathedral's Hodge of course this lovely statue was unveiled in 1997 it's the work of the sculptor John Bickley and you can see the lovely cat sat on Dr Johnson's dictionary I don't think he would have minded that and there are here here are two oyster shells and the oyster shells are here because of a reference that's made in Boswell's Life of Johnson and I just want to read a passage uh, of that to you nor would it be just under this head to omit the fondness which he showed for animals which he had taken under his protection I never shall forget the indulgence with which he treated Hodge his cat for whom he himself used to go out and buy oysters lest the servants having that trouble should take a dislike to the poor creature I am unluckily one of those who have an antipathy to a cat so that I am uneasy when in the room with one and I own I frequently suffered a good deal from the presence of this same Hodge I recollect him one day scrambling up Dr Johnson's breast apparently with much satisfaction while my friend smiling and half whistling rubbed down his back and pulled him by the tail and when I observed he was a fine cat saying why yes sir but I have had cats whom I liked better than this and then as if perceiving Hodge to be out of countenance adding but he is a very fine cat a very fine cat indeed so if you're around this part of London why not come and pay a visit to this Hodge when you pay a visit to Hodge in Southwark Cathedral so the story of Dr Johnson and Hodge then can be brought over into the Cathedral Parish and many of you will know the Anchor Pub and that's where we're going to next we're on Bankside and it's as busy as ever on this corner this is the Anchor Pub behind me and some of you uh, may recognize as the place where Tom Cruise sits outside to have a drink at the very end of the first Mission Impossible film but we're not here for that reason we're here because um, as it records on this particular plaque here this pub the Anchor Pub which was part of the Thrail Brewery was a very popular place for Dr Johnson to come across from his house near Fleet Street on Gough Square and drink here he was um, a great fan of the Thrails and particularly of Mrs Thrail and so but he was also a great fan of the beer that they served here right next door to the brewery now whether or not he ever brought Hodge uh, to the pub with him I don't know we can only speculate I don't know many people who take their cat to a pub we know lots of people who take their dogs to pubs but who knows um, Hodge might have been here uh, in the cathedral parish 
uh, at that stage. Obviously then it wasn't to the cathedral, it was St Saviour's, and St Saviour's has a connection as well with the Thrale family. One or two burials of their children are, are in St Saviour's parish church, now the cathedral. But if you're passing by the anchor, um, you might want to remember Hodge here as well. So this is Hodge, little boy, two years old, uh, very active, very affectionate, uh, likes to clean himself and loves being here. Uh, rescue cat, hadn't been well treated, come to find a nice home and we're delighted to have him with us. So we hope that you'll come along and meet Hodge for yourself because he'll be out and about in the cathedral.